the sequence that looks like a sequence of partial sums 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 plus so on and so forth 1 by uh, n okay this sequence is divergent it's it's not convergent it is divergent we have seen how it is divergent by using the uh, criteria for convergence okay previously so do you remember what do we call such a sequence this is a sequence of partial sums this is essentially a harmonic series it is essentially a harmonic series which is never convergent okay uh, which is never convergent okay a harmonic series is never convergent now let us use the Cauchy criteria to find out why it is divergent. So let n be greater than or equal to 1 and let's evaluate. Let's evaluate. We, when we are looking at the Cauchy sequences, we are evaluating am minus an modulus, the distance between am and a n so let us evaluate in this let us evaluate a to n minus a n okay a to n let's take m as twice of n now what is a n a n is given to us it's a 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 and so on and so forth plus 1 by n so what would be a 2 n twice of n it will be 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 and so on and so forth till 1 by n but you also have n more terms right so you will have 1 upon n plus 1 plus 1 upon n plus 2 till 1 upon n plus n that is 2n n plus n which is 2n so that means that the difference between a twice of n, a n plus n and n would essentially be the remaining terms. Okay, all these terms cancel out. All these terms cancel out. And what terms remain? These n terms remain. These are n terms. Okay, so these will remain. So you get 1 upon n plus 1 plus 1 upon n plus 2 plus 1 upon 1 and so on and so forth. 1 upon 2n or n plus n. Now, notice that each of these terms will be greater than or equal to, will be actually greater than n plus n, right? It will be greater than n plus n because n is greater than 1, right? n is greater than 1. So, the denominator is increasing. That means the whole term is decreasing. So, this term is less than this. Similarly, this term is also less than n plus n, so on and so forth. This is less, greater than or equal to n plus n, okay. So, that means it is greater than or equal to n times, n times 1 upon twice of n, okay, which is essentially half, right. So, in case, that means if I take epsilon equals to half, take epsilon equals to half and for this epsilon greater than zero, for this epsilon greater than zero, okay, equal to half, what do I have? I have that for all n, for any n, I am able to find out n and 2n which is greater than or equal to n is such that a twice of n minus a n is in fact greater than or equal to epsilon which is half okay it's greater than or equal to half which is epsilon so there does exist an epsilon such that we are able to negate the definition of Cauchy this implies that this sequence a n is not Cauchy it is not Cauchy and by Cauchy criteria criteria it implies that an 
is not convergent. It is not convergent either. Okay. 